Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to today's session. Today is ninth day. Today we will be discussing about uh, climate data analysis tool and plotting plotting package. Uh, there are multi, uh, three or four plotting packages available inside CDAT that I'll show demo today. Also today I'll cover the iris. Today we'll start with the visualization. You see as an XM grace. You can see that uh, one module called VCS. It's a visualization and control system. Also, XM grace is the third-party plotting tool. Mostly, it will be useful for the line plot or marker plot. And we have Python embedded packages for that grace tool. Here we are calling this X. So in VCS, uh, there are uh, few concepts and terminology. You should understand first of all VCS canvas, where that uh, all the plots being drawn, and some graphic methods are there predefined. Example: box fill, ISO fill, or ISO line, or vector. These many uh, multiple predefined methods are available, and template. This is the template uh, or a plotting template, like uh, how to control the title, title font, title uh, position, or title font size, or if we have some comments from the data uh, which are plotting or units. So, uh, like uh, subplots or multiple plots or single plot, everything can be controlled over the templates. And some additional secondary items called primitives, like lines or text, create text, create markers. So, likewise, uh, available. So, these uh, this is the terminology which you understand so that it to be useful to plot it. So, how to plot it? Just import VCS inside CDAT and then uh, x is equal to vcs.init. Once we run that, that object being assigned, the VCS class object being assigned to this object, then using that, using this x only, we are going to plot all the stuff. So we can do that x.clear or x.close to clear multiple if you already plotted something and then we can clear it and then we can reuse of it let me go to today's directory uh, <coughs> i would like to show that yesterday we installed conda in maker hpc Once we do conda env list, conda environmental list, it shows that this is the basic base where that conda has been installed, and then we install as uh, at 8.1. So to activate conda 8.1, once it is activated, now this if you do which Python, then you'll come to know this is my home directory inside that mini conda 2 folder has been created then environments within that cdat 8 1 which we created yesterday and then bin python you can do all the stuff here so when you when we do first time login it may take some time 
yeah now it is imported so similarly you can import all the stuff but i again i'm repeating and some other scientists don't install by yourself because because already we installed it both uh, me here and uh, basker hpc you just need to search what is the module name module i while life and yes see that then i think three different versions are available as of now in me here then you can utilize one of them and again i'm uh, I like to convey that if you are uh, using some predefined Python or uh, system Python in your bash or it's better to avoid it because uh, sometimes Iris Python and this are uh, getting conflict. See this, this is see that eight one, see that eight point one and under utility utility node we have separate i request them to make run it in utility node so they compile it with a little older version which i requested so there are uh, at least four models available we can utilize this make sure you, you don't have any uh, dash rc uh, what I mean to say that uh, some people, some scientists uh, injected some Python path, exported Python path inside our bash RC. So if you are doing that, then this will not work sometimes. So take backup of your bash RC and then make it blank, just like this. I think uh, there is no Python path here, just redefine path, just a module load. So I just loaded GCC in W repo just for my own purpose. Then this, uh, still I mentioned that once we install Conda, then this will be added to the dash RC. I'll close this one. So if you come to my area, you can create multiple uh, Conda environment. I have two or three for uh, this conda. Conda is like it's anaconda, like Python. You know that Python language. So multiple Python uh, thousands of packages they put together, and, and then they used to call as anaconda. Anaconda used to have so many libraries, two thousand libraries. So from that they derived a mini conda. So using Miniconda, we just installed a very, very minimal thing. Suppose this is my environment. I have uh, different different versions because I'm involved in operational. So I had to do this testing in my area and then I'll move to operational area. So like a few cases, I measured like Iris and CDAC together. It's fine, then I'll go to come back to plotting so what we are going to we are going to plot it yes uh, i have some nc file this is my local machine so just loaded cdmas2 and vcs In this folder, nothing is there, just only the NC files are available. So once it is imported, 
Yeah, it's just imported. So what I'm doing, I'm going to use this yesterday's continuation. Just loading at AST, climatology data. So it is having 12 months. Since the 12 months, 180, 360, one degree by one degree. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, x dot x is equal to v dot yeah v c s dot unit. Now we can do x dot plot SST of zero. First dimension is time dimension. I'm just uh, taking the first time. Just for quick look, uh, it comes with the south and north or alternate. What I'm going to do, I'm just clearing it. Then we can specify latitude. You can see that it just plotted as sea surface temperature where the land are being masked. This is called canvas. So what I'm going to do now, x dot PDF, I'm just storing it. SST dot nice. So I can store into a PDF for PNG. You can see that uh, here this SST.PDF, SST.PNG has been created. You can see that how it is being like a isofill. This is isofill, or I, I don't know how in other package how they used to call. Or if you can open PNG file also. So in PNG, it's a little bit uh, resolution. You can see the difference. I always go with PDF so that it will be like it will be in a publishable manner quality. So next, yeah, you can go with the VCS dot help to get the help. So then we can go with some predefined function. Suppose we create PV so the X dot create box fill it's not clear, I'm just clearing it. So what I'm doing, I'm just doing x dot plot and my actual data. Then second argument is the box, as that box is created by x dot create box fill. Once we do that, it will be plotted in box fill method.
it's not showing because I'm I'll just store it in the PDF. It's a very large data, it's not showing visibly. We can do even x dot box fill or x dot iso fill, which will be plotted. Suppose if you go with the uh, uh, XRB regions, and we can see it clearly about this box fill. Since it's a very highest high resolution PDF, it takes some time to load. What I will do, I will just go with a slide, then I will go with the sub regions to plot it. So box fill is then further. Yes, then there are some two uh, 2D graphic method called box fill, iso fill, iso line, mesh fill, vector or outfill, outline, continents, Taylor diagram. So these many predefined methods are there. So we have to just use it uh, as per our need or if it is 1D graphics or one dimensional. Then these many options are like Y, X versus X or X, X, Y versus Y like a different different dimension is there on which, which line plot we want x versus y or scatter plot so we can create a box as mentioned so just create our pass our name then x dot plot data of this is a box fill method so the box fill would be like this Or if you go with the smooth one, then we have to go with the isofill. So this is the isofill. Let me show this. So here one more. One more entry file is there. This one. Sample file that I will use it. Why is he explaining something? So, really.
I just uh, stored it india.png. Let me open that. So now you can clearly see that box fill. How this is the one degree by one degree. So this is the one degree by one degree going with individual values. Suppose if we want to plot the continents, then the arguments available here. Continents. So by default, uh, while you're installing, see that contains some seven continents, seven different types of continents. Start with one to seven, and eight is which I customized. Go with the PG. So we see that this is just having the only Indian Indian continent. And I do have multiple subcontinents for the Indian region. You can have your own your own regions uh, in on continents. And now you can see that it's just updated with the state-wise subcontinent. You may be thinking that so why it's uh, bulgy or uh, like the longitude is uh, stretched. That you can control. It, it, I mean, this program doesn't know how it should it should look like while you're plotting. So you have to control. That's available in the template. You can create a template. It is just name then you if you just tmp dot list you can see so many uh, sub members available within this template so once we control this then we have to pass this as another argument while you will be plotting so here this template only having all, all the meta information while we be plotting like title and how title should be enabled or not, where the title should come. So in, in general, in DCS and also in SN ways, our canvas, uh, the position value always goes from zero to one. So starting with zero and one, like in both uh, X axis and Y axis. And do uh, temp dot scale. You can do template one. I just to reduce the longitude scaling. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to plot. While plotting, I'm just specifying this TMP. I forget to clear. So I have to clear it once again, then I'll plot it. Like this argument can be paused. Then one more argument called background BG. So if you are enabling BG is equal to one, it will plot in the background. That the front end that canvas will not come. It it will be just plotted in the background and then it it will be saved. I mean we have to save it. So now you can see that uh, this x-axis being rescaled. Uh, so that 
our map will look uh, politically correct. So this is our box fill, then we can use ISO fill also. I'll just show one more time. I'll just have fill, then instead of What I'm doing, I'm just show, showcasing another option. And we can go with the plot, just a plot, and then I'm passing my data set here. Then second argument template, and third argument which method we want to plot it. That's your size of fill. Now the size of fill. Since this data, it's total cloudiness data. Since this data is lying like this, it shows that uh, some kind of not smooth, very smooth one. But if you have smooth data, then that will reflect in your plotting. You can change your color template also. So ISO line is there. If you want, just plot the lines or colored lines instead of filling. You can create a x uh, x dot create ISO line so that will be plotted. And vector is there. So we can create x dot create vector. Here is the argument with the name of your vector object. So usually you need a uh, wins so we can open u separately v separately and then only for this object we have to plot uh, we have two data set together u and b then vector so this vector is having uh, further fine tuning in terms of reference and the scale scale of that vector so that also we can control And if you are going with the line plot, you can create, uh, cr as I mentioned earlier, create y x versus x. Then just plot x dot plot your uh, one dimensional data set and then this object. Suppose if you are doing some zonal mean, then that all entered here. So within line plot, you can control what color you want, what line, the line colors, and then the markers wherever the point is there. That markers, then marker color, you can further fine tune it. I'm not going detail in each and everything to show demo. So this is a subsetting while plotting. In many ways, you can subset it. This is another method. I'll just yeah. Finally, you can come to projections. There are uh, multiple projections available in CSAT. This is Lambert projection, and this is a polar projection. So, how to create? You can use a create projection. Then graphics method dot projection is equal to our p and dot type multiple. Uh, they mentioned 28 possible projections available, so we have to use one of them. Let me show this. In VCS, we can do always list. 
it will just try to bring whatever available right now it is linear let me go with so many things let me pick out Yes, there are some three types available. So in GCS, I used to make mistakes so that it will throw proper error. So what uh, here they mentioned, like some 30 different uh, projections available, linear, UTM, Lambert, Mercator, Polar, Polyconic, Azimuth, Azimuthal and Equate. Equi rectangular Miller. So this is these are all things I know. So I just uh, showing that the hammer plot also available and Miller killer is diagram also available in VCS. Here we need to specify which type we want and then this projection can be uh, we need to mention while plotting. So just again they are showing some different examples so we can use this also x dot show projection then if you list out so like this default lambert more white poly polygonic polar mercator orthographic linear robinson robinson So what they are saying, like uh, we can control all the VCS text, text location, title commands and uh, title font, title size or comments, sub comments, title and its font size, data area, tick marks, each and everything we can control in the VCS. Like template ratio, if you want to change the ratio, we can change it. Here I already showed you. Like a template of scale, then which axis you you want to scale it? Then we can specify which font by default, or your own font also. Also, you can move little bit x or little bit y. And there are some other uh, utility available in VCS. Something uh, method called E is a template. From VCS add-on, import the EZ template. Once you loaded this, I have given an example. Using that, you can create this kind of multi-plot. In a very simple manner, you can create it. You need to specify that the EZ template dot multi, how many rows or how many columns you want. So that will be assigned to your multi-object. Then what you need to do, just to, uh, suppose this 4 by 3. Lo looping through for i in range 12 then within that we can get m dot get so that is temp template that is sub template that template we are assigning to some object called t then we are plotting our desired suppose this location if you want to plot something then x dot plot then this sub sub template we are passing then as I mentioned here, uh, like some other uh, isofill or a box fill, whatever we want to plot it. So in this way, in a loop, we'll just go from this order, like from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So like it will plot and you can have common legend also or sub uh, individual also, you can keep the legends. So more example, you can get it uh, detailed documentation from the see that website
so now you can create uh, in CS create text once you create it then you, you can have multiple options to control it also we should have we can have this create marker if you want to plot with some marker then we can plot it so let me show this right now uh, what I assigned some default method is there this is the type. one of the type is dot there are multiple methods but multiple types are there then we, once we choose on the type we can control size color and then where where it it, it has to plot it Uh, so I, I don't know how to get the list of types so i just made some error and then it, it throwing proper error so either this type should be within these strings or, or we can still in here number varying from 0 to 0 to so in general if you want to know that dot plus star symbol circle cross diamond triangle up triangle down so then again fill the triangle fill the triangle left square diamond fill these many are there available and few more some hundred uh, exactly 103 weather symbols are available that's a string called w00 w01 2w102 and it's a respective number also being assigned integer you know this is called the symbol and it is cre created by me exactly 10 years before when i was doing mca if you want to know uh, what is that i'll just go with my This is my blog. Yes. So, so it's in August that two thousand ten. I created this. This is a weather symbol. Uh, how severity in IMD people used to indicate uh, symbols using this uh, W prescribed uh, symbols. These symbols in VCS, you see that. And this is how I created when I was doing MCA. You can create your own uh, symbols and specify over any particular length long. So this is I guess created for some different uh, project and I was doing MC. So, so what I'm interested, I already mentioned we can contribute back to our community. So they accepted my contribution and now it's became part of CDAT. Now this is about the markers. So in VCS, uh, see that it used to, they used to have a graphical user interface, which I'm not covering because we are scientists and we should go with our, we should make dirt in our hand by doing 
coding rather than graphical user interface but i'm not sure the current latest version supporting graphical interface i never used also so if you want then you can ask in the community and you can create the animation in the vcs just look through it and then create you can store into gif format so here they mention uh, you can read the uh, shape files and create custom content like this then one more package i want to mention xm grace it's a grace package grace is separate uh, tool so uh, you know i like the, the some grace very much because we can plot like all the one dimensional uh, suppose line plot as uh, it will be created very much clarity this is grace tool which i mentioned so this is separate package but we have python utility inside uh, cdat which is created by the cdat team you can just import some grace and then you can this example next xm grace you can just import it in i never say that then xm grace dot in each once you do the init then this grace utility will come you can see that here in this grace you can plot uh, you can't plot the map but other than map we can plot all the one dimensional scatter plot or line plot we can plot in a very detailed manner and it will produce very good quality figures so i'm i don't have much time to go with it, all the detailed one let's go through the matplotlib what can be done using matplotlib we can go to this website so this is a matplotlib uh, official website and is Yes, I'll just go with the gallery. In Netplotlib, we can create this uh, simple dimensional bar chart, line plot. Also, in Netplotlib, we can plot the over the map also. So that very much detailed the figures can be very quality figures can be created using Netplotlib. kind of histogram scatter plot of liquid as i'm saying earlier you can create even isofill iso line multiple layers can be created and this is uh, creating key maps matplotlib also can create multiple subplots like this or vector plot same lines in this is also we can create streamlines in that totally we can create even three dimensional uh, uh, figures 
three dimensional you can rotate it uh, load one of the example if you click this it will produce the you can see that also having these uh, matplotlib you can import it there are so many uh, examples available here see uh, let's see this this one so once we have this you can i don't know this will work or not let me Yes, it works in, in CDET also. You can rotate like. Yeah, it's rotating. Yeah, you can rotate. Uh, through mouse, you can rotate your camera angle. So in Matplotlib, uh, this is very much advantage. You can produce three-dimensional figure and you can save in into uh, jpeg or pdf as a two dimensional you can zoom it also and you can save it once you set it then using program itself this uh, this or camera everything can be set it I'm not expert in Matplotlib, but there are scientists available in NCMWF who are experts in Matplotlib. I tell them I'll use them tomorrow. So you can go with maps also available for that. Uh, we have the base map. The background can be used. You can search search it here. How to uh, become expert in Matplotlib? Or if you are uh, happy with the CDAT plotting tool, you can come to CDAT website. Uh, are, uh, all detailed documents available. You can go with each and know every one. CDMS, which you already seen, and utilities. Here it will be showing uh, genuity CD util and CD scan everything. Then VCS, if you come to VCS. Then whatever I showed it in the presentation that they uh, used to show very in detailed one. And here, each and everything you can go with that. 3D graphics are available in VCS. Also. So detailed document documentation available here. You can customize your color code whatever way you want or shading using patterns tailored diagram you can go tailor diagram and so it's having further pdf More examples available. Yeah, this kind of pattern you can utilize. So you can see that very quality figures can created. So this is tailored diagram. You can have tailored own tailor diagram. So you can make it a both way tele diagram and you can keep some markers. So 
so you can create you can merge make it your own different instead of rms rms line you can have your own uh, function different function also you can inject standard even collection in between these lines uh, instead of rms you can create your own line own function like this is what they mentioned default skill function you can have your own uh, function you can pause it here how to have instead of calculating rms RMSC, you can have different uh, statistical method also. Like this uh, two way also there for the negative correlation. So they have mentioned how to control detail. Uh, you can go with this. Past 10 years, I'm using this uh, library. I couldn't go with the other library because all my needed has been fulfilled within this library itself uh, called CDAT. Tomorrow I'll be showing uh, what are all the products I generated using this CDAT our operational product, both in terms of uh, data processing, uh, also while plotting, which are all available in our website. And today I, I couldn't get time to introduce IRIS. We, uh, Tomorrow, I'll just introduce. I plan for I, I this today also. In Iris, also, we can plot it. Let me have some plot. But the main purpose of Iris is uh, Iris, they are plotting using Netplotlib. Iris is what is Iris? Is, uh, it's a package initially designed it for it's just alternate to CDMS which we are trying to uh, read all the climate or weather data sets but in I also doing the same thing it can read the NC files it can read the grip2 files and it can read the PP files, PP file and FF file, which is uh, detailed created for the unified model. This is the Iris package. Tomorrow I'll show a demo how to read the PP file through Iris and I'll show the meta information. And main advantage of Iris is this uh, using this we can write into grip2 file also. So that is what I felt a much uh, advantage in Iris. We also customized as per our uh, NC model of uh, needed. This Iris we customized. That also available in GitHub. So in Iris also we can do using this map. They are using Matplotlib to plot it, but uh, they are reading it model. Not only in fit model, they are supporting many things including one of them is the unified model reading pp file or ff file and let me go to question session Yes, uh, yesterday somebody asked about uh, how to install. So I mentioned detailed the procedure. Uh, this also I mailed you to everyone those who have registered how to install CDAT. The procedure here, you can follow this. Okay, and come to today's question. Is it possible to plot buffer per buffer files directly in CDAT as we do it doing with NC files? So far, uh, uh, I never used buffer file format, but I do know that in Python, there are packages uh, available to read it. So what can be done? We can install that package. I think PyBuffer is there. Within CDAT, we can install within CDAT env environment. Using pip command, we can install it. And once we install, we can read the buffer format as it is. Then whatever way we want to plot it, you can plot it or you can do all the 
statistical computation can be done. Buffer format is there. Yes, pi buffer is there. We can install this or pi buffer is simply for package also using pip command. We can install it and then we can read that buffer buffer uh, file format and we can plot it. Is there any question in the I think no question so far. Then zoom. Today I plan to show the iris, but I didn't get time to show that. But tomorrow I show iris, and I'll just introduce uh, how to handle the CDO commands inside Python. Just show a real time example. Then finally I'll conclude the uh, session with tomorrow session with the water in what ways python being utilized in ncmrwf i'll just go through quick demo for that uh, also today also i mentioned the homework so you have to get that to your hand by doing this element so once you are done then it will be very easy you, you will not go to any other tool 90% 90, 90 of work can be done using only this library itself. And yesterday also I mentioned uh, homework. Do, do this. And if you are able to do it, then let me know. Even for Python also, I just give any homework. So try to do this homework. Uh, you will be enjoying this. So with this, I'm concluding today's session. Uh, we will see it tomorrow. Hope everybody understand what I showed you today. Thank you.